Hi, welcome to Pictures, Noise and Words. I'm Hedgy, and this is Bloodstained Child. And as you can see, we still have Just Panda with us, which is good. So this will be a, another two hour video. Um, <laughs> uh, Bloodstained Child, quite a hard edged band with a bit of an electronic uh, kind of influence to them. Yeah. Um, I first came across Bloodstained Child back in 2005 with the album Idolator. Uh, I think Paz gave it to me. I'm not sure, but I think he did. Um, that sounds right to me anyway. So yeah, I've, so I've known about Bloodstained Child. They've gone through a few incarnations, haven't they? They've gone yeah. through a few lineup changes and the lady singer changed, mm -hmm. didn't she? Yep. Let me fair. But I can't say I've exactly followed them, you know. I just like, oh, it's another Bloodstained Child thing. I'll listen to that, and I yeah. don't always notice when it's when when the people in it change because I'm not following yeah. them that closely. Um, but this is fairly new, isn't it? This it um, is. this song came out in February 2019. This album, um, here we go. It's either Amaterus, Amaterus, Amaterus. One of those doesn't matter. Um, I'm not entirely sure when the album came out. He says point in the right direction, um, but this but the songs begin you know, like February 2019, so it doesn't yeah. matter. It's out now anyway. I have not heard this album. I have not it's heard this song. It's a great album. It's a fantastic. It was my album of the year last year. Oh really? um, wow! So Bloodstained Child were a band that I hadn't heard of until I attended the Metal Matsley Festival last year. Oh right. And they played on day two, uh, quite early on in the set list of the five bands that played, and they were just brilliant. They really? were fantastic live, absolutely fantastic live. Uh, got to meet the lead singer uh, afterwards, got a selfie with him. He signed some stuff for us. Just such a genuinely nice guy. So I, uh, we, a lot of us who had never heard of Bloodstained Child, or maybe had some people who had only heard a few of the songs, we went home and... Uh, downloaded this record and i had it on repeat for about four or five weeks it was great it was my oh, commuting right. to work album every day i was running to it at the gym it was such a good album fantastic album because I, for me they went through a period of sounding a bit too much like themselves for a while it was kind of like right? it was a bit of a kind of a oh here's another bloodstained child song it just sounds like the others, you know, I, right. it kind of, I, I had a dip, okay. um, but I'm talking about over a period of 15 years now. Uh, yeah. So, so yes, I know who they are. I've heard quite a lot of stuff by them, but I've mm -hmm. not followed them, you know, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm interested to hear this because I can't remember the last, it was certainly before this, the last time I heard them. Did they nearly split up? I don't know if you know, did they nearly disappear f at one point? I think, I think they went through a few like reincarnations of lead singers and bass players leaving and lead singers coming back. I think there was a lot of that kind of stuff going on. But I think since the lead singer that they've got now, Sadhu, he was the original lead singer back when they first started. Right. So he's come back to the group. Uh, and I think that's brought back a lot of fans that listened to them years ago. They've kind of come back to listen to the band now because we've got we've got him back as the lead singer, and he's he's a great front man, fantastic front man. So I wonder if he was the singer on the the original, not the original, the first one I heard, like Idolator in two thousand and five. And I'm not sure. I'd have to look it up. I am literally looking it up as we yeah. speak. Uh, <laughs> It was lead vocals Ryo. No, that's not him. Right, lead guitar Ryo. Yeah, and they've been the lead guitar since the beginning. Right. They've the 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 lead guitarist has stayed since the very very beginning, all the way through. They they are the only one that has managed to make it the whole, <laughs> the whole route. So, um, but yeah, great band. Well, shall we just shall we get on with it then? And, and then we'll have something to talk about because I haven't heard it yet. 
I haven't heard any of this, but now I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, I'll. Uh, are you ready? Because I, I need to count. I am. I need to count just Panda in, folks, because she can't see what I'm seeing. So she has to watch it separately, in case you're wondering. Okay, I'm ready. To, oh, yep. I'm not ready because my. <laughs> because something's gone wrong, which always does. Right, it's fixed. We're fixed. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. It's my professionalism. That's why everyone comes back week after week. <laughs> Three, two, one, go.
Okay, I have a few things to say about that, which is no surprise because I have a channel like this. Um, if I if you played that to me and I did not know who it was, I would have known it was Bloodstained Child because it does have the signature bits in it. Mm -hmm. They quite off. I mean, I don't. I've not heard the album, so I'm only going off one song. Um, but they always the electronic bit, though it was a bit more suppressed this time than it is on some of their other songs, um, was there, and it's the same type of electronic bit that they put into their songs. They quite have a, often have the bit where he does the voice, where he kind of um, he's not singing, he's kind of talking in a, 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 a kind of voice. That's quite a quite a trope of Bloodstained Child. However, on top of that. The, di the things that were different was the chorus was quite... Every now and again I got a bit of Fear Factory, but but I also yeah. got, and this sort of harks back to our previous video when we were talking about something, I can hear a little bit of the 90s punk era Blink yeah. 182 style. <laughs> uh, I'm not saying they were like Blink 182 for a second, no. but that's that, of course. Uh, that, that genre... Yeah. A little bit of that in the chorus. Um, maybe you don't, but I'm just hearing it for the first time cold. Yeah. And that was what struck me. I thought, that chorus is kind of... It's quite Americanized. the chorus. Yeah, yeah. I think it's it's got more melody to it than what yes. a lot of other kind of heavier bands would probably have in their songs. I think that's probably why I really like this band, because um, I, I like to be able to kind of sing along. Uh, I'm not really much into a lot of the kind of screaming and growling all the way through a song. It's nice to have some clean vocals. And I think he does a really good job of going between the kind of screaming and the singing. Yeah. I, I think that's why I quite like it. And I like the, the kind of dance music elements to it. But back in the late 90s, early 90s, I did a lot of partying. I listened to a lot of dance music. I loved trance music of the late 90s. Sounds like so a confession. It, t it takes <laughs> me back. It takes me back to kind of going to house parties. and I did a and lot of partying. <coughs> Don't like to talk about it. Drinking too much and, and kind of listening to dance music and stuff, which probably a lot of my more alternative friends wouldn't have done because they, 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 they would never be known to listen to dance music. Whereas I, I, I got a lot of enjoyment out of listening to music like that. So... Because Bloodstained Child bring that element to to their songs, it, it I, I'm kind of drawn to that. And when they played at Metal Matsuri last year, there was no other band on the the two days that played that were like them. Hmm. So when they kind of came on, we didn't. I, well, I personally didn't. I hadn't heard them. I hadn't looked them up before the show because I wanted to kind of see what they were like live to begin with. And that was the same with a couple of the other bands that played. So when they came on. And they were totally different to all the other Japanese bands that had played the day before and what we were going to hear that day. We were all jumping about. We had a mosh pit going upstairs. We had Lady Beard jumping around behind us in his dress and his pigtails, having the best time. He's a huge Bloodstained Child fan. Huge, huge Bloodstained Child fan. So it was, it, it was, they were such a different band. They brought a totally different element of music and a totally different feel to the weekend. And they were my they were my top band of that weekend. They could have they could have headlined Metal Matsy and I wouldn't have been mad about it. I wouldn't have been mad. I would have been quite happy with that. Have you gone back and heard their older stuff? I like, have gone back, back and listened to some of their other stuff. Yeah, I think I, I I prefer the more recent stuff because that's what I've listened to most. Look up, um, look, up a, I, look up a song called Pitch Black Room. Okay. From two thousand seven album called Mosaic. Okay, I will um, do that. And that, because you were talking about dance music, mm -hmm. um, like metal dance music, if you like, that song is amazing. Uh, okay. Pitch Black Room by Bloodstained Child from Mosaic. There you go, people. We There's will listen to, to that. I will definitely listen to that. So um, it, this year, it's it's been a weird year for us all, hasn't it, with the, <laughs> the pandemic and uh, COVID yeah. and... We've had so many gigs and stuff cancelled. And mm. sadly, back in March, a lot of us were looking forward to a one-night-only gig by Bloodstained Child uh, in London. That was meant to happen in March. It had already been planned. We all had our tickets bought. Uh, the support acts were going to be Seasons of Ghosts. 
the lead singer of Seasons of Ghost, Sophia, she was the lead singer of Bloodstained Child for the Epsilon album. I was going to say the, the lady is gone. Out of the yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um, Sophia, her new band, were going to be one of the support acts to Bloodstained Child for this kind of one night only gig uh, with, with one of the other Metal Matsuri bands, Zoroshki, who are a, a great band as well. So it got cancelled, like a, well, postponed a couple of weeks before it was meant to happen because of COVID. We're, it's still meant to be going ahead, but we've, we've not had any word about when that's going to happen yet. But we're mm-hmm. hoping that Orion Live, who are the, the events promoters here in the UK for Japanese bands, that they're going to make an announcement at some point that this gig will still go ahead. They've said that the gig will still go ahead, so we're all just waiting for a date now for when we'll get to see them because it's going to be such a good show. Yeah, I don't trust dates on anything right now. No, you know? I mean where I live, it the whole area is lock is under lockdown right now. Yeah, um, we sort of lockdown. Yeah, but you know we're not allowed yeah. to like meet each other in in groups or anything. So obviously yeah. gig, gigs are out. But uh, sad times. Hopefully, Very sad hopefully times. next year will be. Will we be hope so. Better. Uh, let's not get into that. Everyone's yeah. depressed enough and tired tired of hearing about it. Yeah. So. Yeah, I really like that. I don't. I know. I, I didn't say that at the beginning. I just started talking about this, what they were playing, um, <laughs> and, and comparing them to how they were before. But uh, I did like it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I could, like, say, I could hear the um, their their um, signature sounds in their it. Style, that's the, that's yeah. the best way of putting it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm. I am interested. I know you can. I'm pointing at the album cover. <laughs> <laughs> just just panda can't see what i'm pointing at i just look like some weird person pointing up into thin air um <laughs> instead of a weird person pointing at an album cover so yeah um i've not heard it but i will do now it's um, very good like i said i had it on repeat for about four or five weeks it took me to work it got me through 5ks at the gym it was played while i was doing the dishes it, it's a Really, really good album. Really, really great album. Well, Idolator, back in 2005, their first album that I heard, mm-hmm. I just, I couldn't stop playing that. There that you was go. just brilliant. Um, and then, like I say, we kind of uh, went like that over the years. Mm. Um, so it, I'm really pleased to hear them sounding really good, if you see Excellent. what I mean. Because there were yeah. some that were, I just heard a couple of them and they were like, yeah, it's all right. I think I did a Bloodstained Child video. Well, I definitely have. It just might not be on my channel anymore. It might have gone mm-hmm. missing with all the other Japanese stuff. And and I had to say at the end, eh, you know, eh, it's all right. Um, but hey-ho. Well, I'm really pleased that you like this one because it is always a worry that I'm going to provide you with songs and then you're not going to like them. So I'm really glad that you liked it. I will try. <laughs> I always try to be fair. I, I, yeah, of course, I, I, of course. I think. Um, this is a channel for people who are interested in finding new stuff because I don't limit the styles of what I'm willing to cover. And I always try to be fair about whether I like something or not and say why I like it or why I do not. It's, yeah. This isn't a reaction channel, folks. Um, it's a music channel. <laughs> you know, that's, that's all it is. It's just a heavy metal music channel. Yeah. Um, you're not going to get me screaming and running around like my hair's on fire sorry if you yeah. want there's plenty of those channels if you want to go and find them many many, many of them many <laughs> all doing the same songs but you know because mm-hmm. they're the ones that get the clicks just saying yep. oh i've gone all bitter uh <laughs> but um yeah really like that we didn't get to talk about the thing which i said we were going to talk about but we'll talk about it in the next video so you have to come back again, folks, to hear <laughs> the next instalment of Just Panda. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm expecting all of the Baby Metal family to turn up for these videos, by the way. Yeah, they will. Of course they will. They're a good, they're a good bunch. <laughs> they're going to be They're going to be sad that there's not been any Baby Metal songs. Yeah. But, but it's just... YouTube. It's not. It's not worth the risk to your channel. So, uh, which is really sad. It's. It's really sad that it has to be that way. But yeah, baby metal yeah. and YouTube don't get on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> unless you're on the official YouTube uh, baby metal channel, which you know yeah. it's up to them. Um, but we will be back for another instalment. For uh, I'm not in- actually. I'm not entirely sure who it's going to be, but 
let's find out. We'll see everybody on Friday. Thanks for coming again, uh, Just Panda. Thank you. See everyone soon. Bye-bye.